Hi everybody, good evening. I want to thank Comet for the invitation. For me, it's a great honor to be a part of this extra exquisite panel and also be moderated by Dr. Menlau, that is a reference for all of us Portuguese knee surgeons. Thank you very much. Those, sorry, those were two of the favorite lines from a teacher of mine that was really important on my growing as a surgeon and also as a man. And that I remember when I choose uh, the case I'm bringing you tonight. This is the case of a young athlete uh, from Anbol that in my November 19, uh, sprained her left knee. She was feeling uh, great instability and she was unable to do any weight bearing. The clinical exam was disturbed by pain, so it was not a very rich clinical exam. I could um, understand that she had a blocked extension, but no instability could be observed. The x-rays were not very helpful. What is a good sign? Uh, but the MRI scan shows a torn medial meniscus and a pullout from the femoral sided proximal hand of the ACL. So what we have is a young adolescent athlete with a proximal ACL pullout and a torn medial, medial meniscus. What should we do? Of course, we should try to repair the meniscus and uh, on the ACL issue, uh, preservation surgery was very appealing. Why? Because she's young, she's healthy, she has no important ACL deviation. She seems not to have any other instability. It is not a um, uh, burning bridges uh, procedure. And the, the, the promise of a preserved proprioception, it's a big promise. And of course, if we were well succeeded, restoring the native kinematics of the knee, it is uh, like winning the Grand Prix. And also we know that the remnant has all the abilities to heal. So it was appealing against it. We know that the taxes of the average of all the large series of failure in the surgical treatment of ACL um, are worsened by some marks. And our patient had at least two. She was, she was a female and she is an intensive trainer from a contact sport. So that was discussed and explained to the patient and also, also of course, to her parents. And uh, a decision was made and if the meniscal repair was possible, we should take the first option. That means the ACL repair. Two weeks later, after the accident, I like to do two things to cool my knees and I like bleeding. First, we treat the meniscus. We saw a, a not so small chondral lesion, grade three, after reduction. The, um, posterior horn and also the middle third was situated by an all inside sequential auto blocks suture. And uh, the anterior horn was secured by the classic outside in procedure. No story about it. We classified the, the lesion from the ACL as a Sherman one. Here we can see how big is the insufficiency. I will spare you the, the details from the surgery. Now we are passing the anchorage sutures first, the mite substance one, and then the distal hand one. And this day we went home 
really happy about this attachment, really happy. This is the post-op x-rays. As you can see, we did a interphysial tunnel just because we know that the, the growing is stopping, the phases are closing, but we just did it this way. The post-op, she followed our protocol. She started the treatment at the second day. She did none with bearing for six weeks, but with the food on the ground and filling the ground. At the fourth week, she was doing 90 degrees of flexion and she achieved the, the 120 at sixth week. At five months, she had a normal range of motion. She was running moderately. She was able to small jumps. She had no complaints and no tie atrophy. This patient was treated uh, on a sport accident insurance context. So she was discharged. She was supposed to keep her recovery at the club that is one of the main clubs in Portugal. And she was warned to be cautious and not to train or to play till the end of the year. But the end of July, she was like this again on my office. That means eight months after surgery. We had to win the championship, she told me. Well, she, they won the championship and she won an ACL failure and us too, unfortunately. The good news is that the medial meniscal resisted the trauma and called me the attention that at the, in, the, in the scan, the lesion seems to happen at the mild substance and not at the healing zone. That we confirmed that at the OR when we did two weeks later, the revision surgery that was made by all inside way with a semi T. The post-op recovery was much more easy. We, don't, we were not treating or recovering the repair. We were not worried with the meniscus. So she started uh, the weight bearing at the second week and she could mobilize her knee as easy from the beginning. At five months after revision, she was stable. She was able to jump if the computer leaves it and to run with not aggressive stops. Also the control scan at five months, we can see a graph that is remodeling pretty well and is also integrating pretty well. And I can tell you that one, hour, one year after, she thinks that she recover her performance she retake her place as team leader and she's playing well. In Portugal, we say that um, after the wedding, everybody wanted to marry the fiancé, not before. But those are some of the questions and the doubts that I took my bad the day that I found she was failed. And I'm pretty sure that uh, after today, I will sell them solve some of them with your help. Thank you.